My name is Gene Fields, and I'm from originally from Los Angeles, and I reside now in Modesto since 1979. Well, my father was in motion picture business, and uh, he had worked on a couple of shows. One of them was Green Hornet, so I had got a chance when I was a kid to uh, meet Gene LaBelle, who was doing the choreography for the show, and Bruce Lee at the time, and uh, that was kind of my, my inspiration, you know, having the advantage of meeting them and also having the advantage of working with Gene LaBelle for a couple of years, training with him, and that was basically my start. We do everything here, in-house here. Um, all the boxing, all the stand-up training is done here, all the ground training is done here, everything is done here. Uh, everything we do is kept in-house. We don't go to outsiders for anything. We, we don't buy them, we build them here. We train hard, we train aggressive. Our main goal here is, regardless of whatever, is to win. It's uh, that type of sport. There's only one man left standing. There's only one goal, and that's to win, so you have to be the top dog. I don't recruit anybody. Anybody who wants to come this way, uh, they have that door open. I don't believe in uh, hustling other people's fighters. It's not the way it should be done. If they want to come to me, that's different. I do believe in loyalty in the camp, and sometimes you would have secondary thoughts if somebody's coming to you, why didn't it work out where they were at? But uh, you notice most of the champions who are out there today have stayed in their original camps, stay with their coaches, listen to their coaches, do what their coaches tell them to do, and not try to be so uh, one-sided. They don't know it all. Some of them think they do, are the most successful ones. The things that are important to become successful in combat sports are a lot of it, besides being mental and physical and to go through the training, is your outside life has to be together. Your life, period, has to be together. Because if your life is screwed up on the outside, it's going to be screwed up while you're training. You have to find a happy medium there. I work with my fighters both inside and outside the gym. I believe in helping them with their outside life so it coincides with their gym life, works out the same. Um, it's very intense. MMA is different than any other sport. I mean, I've trained guys in kickboxing, trained guys in karate, trained guys in boxers. Uh, MMA to me is very exciting because it's an encompassing everything. You've got to know everything in the sport. You've got to know how to box. You've got to know jiu-jitsu. You've got to know judo. You've got to know kickboxing. You've got to be a Thai boxer. You can't leave anything out because you're taking a chance if you do. Uh, it's very tough. It's very fast. And only the true strong survive in this sport. You see, my best bit of advice I can give to a fighter, listen to your coach, do what he says, Get your life in check and give up everything you've ever wanted and sacrifice because that's the only way you'll, you'll get this. You've got to give up everything. And when you do and you will see in the long run when you prevail and you really, it's like anything else. When you give ultimate sacrifice, you will get ultimate reward. And, but most people don't really understand what ultimate sacrifice. Kids today and younger generations is very different from my understanding of ultimate sacrifice and there are understanding of ultimate sacrifice. It's a lifelong endeavor. It's a lifelong goal. To me, there has never been anything but this, and there'll never be anything but this to the end. This, the advantage of being a, to me, of being a coach and, and not a fighter anymore is that I can keep going on. There's no age restrictions in this. You don't have to quit when you're 40, 50, or whatever the case may be. I'll do this to the day I die. I'm gonna drop dead in that ring training, I will.